Got a Rangers top pitching prospect, Cole Wynn, joining us here on the KNC Masterpiece. Should we call him a phenom? Um, I will. Do you want to be called a phenom, Cole? <laughs> Not yet. No. Okay. Okay, Kevin. All right. We're going to stick We're, with no at just, the moment. We just wanted to check. Okay. So, in, in anybody that gets out there to check you out, like Saturday, you can you can watch Cole with the uh, with the Rough Riders. Anybody that gets out there to see you. Um, give your, give everybody a scouting report on yourself. Like, what are they what are they getting whenever they get out there to 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 watch Cole Wynn pitch? I'd say I have a a, a solid four pitch mix, and uh, I could throw any any pitch in any count. I feel comfortable enough to do that. Um, I would consider myself a strike thrower. Um, pretty good command, and someone who's going to compete out there. Now, going back to the draft, we would love to know, because, you know, we love hearing these stories and mindsets. What was your feeling on the day of the draft and as the draft progressed? Like you got taken in the first round, which is an amazing thing. And I'm sure a dream come true. Was it just that feeling? Was there any disappointment? Because speculation was that you could have gone higher. Like what was your range of emotions leading into the draft and then that night? Um, so, the uh, my family and I rented a beach house in, in Newport. So it, early in the morning, I was trying to like not think about the draft. We ended up going to the beach and kind of hanging out. And then um, throughout the day that goes on, um, my advisor kept getting some calls from teams. And and honestly, I had no idea where I was gonna gonna end up. And and as the draft started, um, I'm not gonna lie those those first 14 picks were probably like. It felt like it was the longest time in my entire life. And uh, once my name was called, it was just like, like, just like relief and excitement. And it was really cool. I had all my family there and a few friends. And it was honestly just like probably one of the coolest moments in my life up until this point. So, Cole, uh, I ended up getting drafted in 1996. And I remember thinking at 17 and 18 how easy the game was in high school for me and thinking I can pitch in the major leagues right now. Like I can help out the Cleveland Indians right now. I quickly found out in low A ball that I might have not been ready for major (laughs) league baseball, uh, that it's a different level. And I know in 2019, your start of low A ball didn't go well and you kept getting better as that season progressed. Did you feel like when you got drafted, I'm ready to pitch in the major leagues right now? Definitely. Yeah, I think we, we kind of had the same thoughts on that one. And and it was easier to, to say, too, because during, like, the deload program that we went through, we weren't we weren't throwing and we weren't playing. So we were, we were able to watch, like, the Arizona League baseball games, and we ended up taking a trip to Frisco. And, you know, in the back of my mind, I'm like, I could, I could pitch at this level. And then, and then 2019 came around, and I think that was, like, the, the first time in my life I was, like, getting hit around as hard as I was and I was struggling to throw strikes and struggling to trust my stuff and command my stuff. So once, once I started to have a little bit of success and started getting that confidence back and just like at the end of the day, trusting my stuff, like I I just kind of took off from there. And then it's been a learning experience ever since. Woody had this question for you though. So here's your first, first Woody question. He did give us three. Here's your first one. Are, are you, recognizing and noticing when you face other top prospects that are supposed to be already future major leaguers, how you're doing against them versus maybe he is kind of saying how you're doing against maybe seven, eight, nine hole hitters in double A isn't as important as how you're facing the best hitters in double A. Yeah, for sure. I mean, you can, you can, if you follow minor league baseball at all, you know who, who the top prospects are. And there's been a few on, on a couple teams and, for the most part, I feel like I've done pretty well. There's there was just one series where I, I didn't do too well, and uh, I, I'd say other than that series, I feel like I've done pretty well and just attacking the hitters and and realizing that we're 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 at the same level. So I need to just go out there and, and give them the best stuff I can give, and if they hit it, like tip of the cap. Now the other questions from Woody are a little bit more generic. He wants to know how your arm's feeling and how where your head's at. So we do need to ask those as well. <laughs> arm's feeling great. Feeling really good. Arm's feeling good. Body's feeling good. Um, my head's at in a, in a good spot. Um, just kind of what, what what's helped me is just kind of being where my feet's at and realizing that. 
and the day to day gets easier when you when you just realize that right now I'm in Frisco, Texas, and I'm going to be in Frisco, Texas until I'm told otherwise. So I just need to realize that and keep going with that. Now, Woody will get a report about all of your starts. We talk with him every week. Would you like to give us a report about what you thought about his questions? Mm, that's good. <laughs> I'd say the besides the generic one, the the facing the other top prospects and, and evaluating my performance against them, that was a pretty good question. All right. It was, it was it was one I haven't gotten yet, so we will tell him. All right, so that's that's one. I mean, Woody has a future in journalism. That's, uh, if hey, that ever kind of true. pops up, you can for be like really cocky and say you can know it if you just call me up to the major leagues and then you can ask <laughs> me on a daily basis how I'm doing. Well, and since you answered our questions, like we said, we talk with him every week. Are there any questions you would like to ask the Rangers manager, and we'll be sure to pass those along as well. <laughs> Come to my mind, not really, no. Okay. okay, all right. We'll we will ask a question for you, and it's when when are you ready for me? All yeah. right, and when are you ready for me, Skip? Because I'm ready. Okay, let them know that you guys said that. All right. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>